Okay, I'm going to uh, do just another attempt at getting some results from this hydrogen stick by Dr. Hayashi. I just can't seem to get this thing to make any significant changes to this water. And, um, you know, after 20 minutes, really hardly changes it at all. After three hours, again, hardly at all. But I've let this sit now in this glass bottle for a full day. Now, I'm not going to let, a, you know, I'm not going to prepare my water for a full day in order to have healthy water to drink. That's unrealistic. But, you know, I'm trying to give this hydrogen stick the benefit of the doubt here. Does it ever add enough hydrogen to the water? So, I'm going to test it. Unfortunately, I, I can't get this tester in the bottle, so I have to pour it in this glass to test it. And um, yesterday, when I poured this out of the tap, it was about a 10 pH. In St. Louis, we uh, the, the water treatment companies uh, you know, produce a pretty high alkaline water. And uh, the it's now a 10.24, so it looks like the pH has raised a tiny, tiny little bit. That's after a full day of soaking. So, um, let's see. The Originally, yesterday when I poured it, my St. Louis tap water is about a, a positive 145 ORP, which of course is bad. You don't want ORP in the positive range. But, um, it has brought it down after a full day to a negative 77. Now, I, oh, of the ORP. Uh, now, I all, you know, yesterday just tried and tried to get it into the negative range, and it wouldn't, but it did finally get into the negative range, but that's after a full day of soaking. And again, I just really, you know, <laughs> who's going to let this sit there for a full day? You know, that's just unrealistic to think that you're going to prepare your water for a full day so that you can get nice uh, negative 77 ORP water. That's it's just ludicrous. All right, here's the water coming straight out of the, or that came out of this Jupiter Melody water ionizer one day ago. And, you know, some people are wondering, well, what happens if I pour the water and then take it to work with me or pour the water and I can't drink it right away. I'm, I'm away from home. And let's see what the change in this water was. Because it came out of the machine at about a negative 245 or something like that, ORP. And that's, that's wonderful. And um, so here is the water after sitting in this glass bottle for a full day. And let's see what this ORP turns out to be. And uh, the, the water, uh, the pH of the water that came out of the Jupiter Melody yesterday, this water here, the pH was about 11. I'll see what that is too. It looks like it is um, Oh, it's still climbing. Let, while it's doing that, let me just check the um, pH. 10.8 on the pH. And that's a very insignificant drop in pH from yesterday. And um, looks like it's in about a negative 204 on the uh, ORP. And that's fantastic. After sitting for a full day, it's still in the negative range and, um, <laughs> and a quite, quite a nice ORP of a negative 204. That, you just can't beat that. Now, um, this water was sitting in a plastic cup for the same amount of time. And that's a full day sitting in this plastic cup. And, you know, sometimes people are so, so worried about, oh, should it be glass or should it be plastic? And, um, 
actually, I, I'm curious, what is the difference, glass to plastic? Is it, is it even that big of a deal? And this jar has a fairly good seal on it, not vacuum sealed, but a fairly good seal. And this cup just has kind of a, you know, it has a little straw thing here. So it's hydrogen will escape. And uh, so it does make sense that if you are going to store your ionized water, you'd choose glass over plastic. But just how big of a difference does it make? After a full day, it's still in the negative range. Negative 120 ORP. And um, the pH is a 10.6 pH, approximately. So that's, you know, reasonable. It did drop some, but, um, you know, I, I'd choose. I would tell <laughs> if I was going to give advice, I'd say store it in a glass jar with a nice lid on it. But... Um, I would also give further advice. Don't worry about it. It's not going to be that significant. I have um, done other tests where, you know, in an hour or two of sitting in a plastic container, it, you know, really didn't make much of a difference. I, but, I, you know, you can see that after a full day of sitting there, it does make somewhat of a difference. Glass is better than plastic. But uh, the main point here, the hydrogen stick, is uh, <laughs> just, you know, it does something. It's not in a, uh, an awful, uh, you know, useless uh, uh, product. It's, it's not awful. A negative 77 ORP is not awful. But to get that, I had to soak that in that jar for a full day. And that is kind of ridiculous. Who's going to do that?